welcome back to my channel and happy new year. So today is New Year's Day that I'm filming this and I hope you had a wonderful New Year's Eve and have started the year off in a fantastic way. Uh, if you're new, my name's Nicola, I'm a mum of two and I make videos about all things lifestyle and today I thought I would do a quick welcome to 2020, a bit of a recap of 2019 and the goals that I set for myself this time last year and just talk to you a bit about the goals that I'm setting for myself for this year. Uh, I did talk a bit about this on my video that I did last year, but just to say that I don't necessarily make New Year's resolutions. I think resolutions are really about focusing on what you don't like about yourself and, you know, the things that you want to change about you. And I don't really need to change anything about me. I think certainly as I got into my 40s, I have become more and more happy with the person that I am. And I don't really feel that I need to change. And that's the same, same as any age, but it's taken me until now to realize it. But, you know, we are who we are. Um, yes, we can do certain things better and we can set ourselves challenges, but to change the way that we are and the people that we are intrinsically inside ourselves, don't think you need to worry about that. So I set myself goals instead. So things and challenges that I want to achieve in the coming year. And to be honest, it was a real success doing this last year. And I'm really glad that I did it and I documented it on here because it meant that I felt I really had to stick to it. Uh, so I'm just gonna quickly go through the ones that I set myself. And I didn't, I didn't do all of them, I have to be honest. <laughs> it wasn't perfect, but I did have a good stab at it. And I felt that I really did challenge myself and found you know new things probably for myself and yeah I was very happy with the way the year went in that respect so I said I wanted to work out five times a week I was following Lucy Wyndham Reed's workouts and I wanted to do them five days a week I pretty much did that I got up earlier so I got up at six every morning um, from Monday to Friday to be honest quite often it's at the weekend as well but I don't work out at the weekend so I just work out Monday to Friday and most days I have done that. There's been the odd day if I've had to go out to work, um, I usually work from home, but if I've had to go out for work and I've had to leave super early, I haven't been able to fit in a workout those days. Maybe I haven't done it. Um, when I was poorly, I didn't do it. And then when we were on holiday, I didn't work out. And again, at Christmas, the week, Christmas week, although I have started again this week. Um, and I just found it so good. I talked a bit about my weight loss journey that I did last year. Not, well, not last year, year before last, um, and I found it so much easier to stay at my current happy weight than I'm at if I'm working out every day and it's only seven minutes, that's all I do. There are the odd ones that are longer and if I've got not much on or if the kids aren't in school then I found it easier to do a longer workout, but most days I do seven minutes. And then even the days where I read, I get up and I think, oh God, I don't wanna do, I don't wanna do seven minutes, I don't wanna do a workout at all. I'll perhaps just do a four minute one or a five minute one. And I found some that are slightly easier. So I think, well, I'll just do that because at least it's better than doing nothing at all. And it has really made me feel so much better. And the weeks when I haven't done it because we've been away or whatever, I've started to feel sluggish. I can feel it in my joints, I'm getting old. Um, but I feel I get stiffer and I just feel so much better about myself when I'm working out daily. So I, can thoroughly recommend it. If you have the time, I do always do it first thing in the morning, because if I didn't, I know 100% I would not do it. I wouldn't stick to it if I didn't do it first thing. So I do it at six, as soon as I get up, well I get up, I feed the dog, and then I do my workout, and then everything else follows. And it is the time that I spend doing that for me, and it works brilliantly, and I can thoroughly recommend it. So I'm gonna carry on doing that this year. That is there for life, as far as I'm concerned. I am not stopping it. I have, it's now habit, it's in, it's ingrained, it's something I do all the time and I'm really chuffed with myself because I have never, even though I work in health and fitness, I have done all my life and I just have never been able to commit to working out regularly. I've done it for maybe a couple of weeks and then got bored and stopped. So I'm really pleased that I've been able to do this and I know that if it was longer, if it was like a half an hour or an hour workout, there's no way I'd be able to stick to it. So I think seven minutes or 20 minutes max is fine. It's better than doing nothing at all. So that's what I'm doing. 
Second of all was one that I'm so chuffed about and that was that I wanted to achieve a thousand subscribers on YouTube and I wanted to make sure I filmed one video a week at least and I did that pretty much all year. I think there was one week when we were on holiday that I didn't put up a video uh, but then in December I did two a week for most of December. I think the last week I only did one but I was... Oh, whoosh. Not the dog, uh, but I was so pleased to be able to commit to that and really, you know, find myself here on YouTube, get more confident filming videos, feel happier about the content that I'm creating, and find all of you guys. And I'm really, really pleased that you've all come to join me, and I hope you continue to watch and enjoy what I'm going to do in 2020. Which brings me around to, I suppose, that rather than do my new goals, I'll I'll do them one after the other. So my, I'm going to continue, obviously, filming videos on YouTube and I'm going to continue doing one a week. I did consider upping it to two a week, having done that in December, but I just think that I would find it difficult to f find good enough content that is interesting for you to watch to do two videos a week. I think, I find, from people that I watch on YouTube that film two a week or three a week, a lot of them do vlogs. And whilst I'm happy to do vlogs, I don't get many views for, from them and most people don't really, I don't think, like watching them. If that's not true, then let me know in the comments below and if you want a vlog, because I could do perhaps a sit-down video and then a weekly vlog every week so I could do two videos. That, I think, would be achievable and I could do that. So if you want a vlog every week, then let me know and I will film one, either a weekend or a weekday vlog or something. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to stick to one video a week and try and make you know, the sort of content that you guys want to see. So if there's anything in particular you want me to film, let me know below. Uh, there was one lady, I felt really bad actually, somebody said that they'd love to know about how I wrap my presents and I had completely intended to film that video um, in my Christmas content, but I just ran out of time. And by the time I was going to film it, it was like three days before Christmas and I thought, majority of people who are going to spend time wrapping beautiful presents are going to have done this by now so I didn't film it but that's one for next year and I'll make sure that I get in there early and do it a bit sooner next year so yeah so those are my two goals so far so I'm going to carry on working out five times a week I'm going to continue filming one video a week and if you want me to do a vlog a week I can do two um the third thing I did in 2019 what I said I was going to do was to write one blog post a month I did say in the video that I thought I would struggle and I wasn't wrong. I didn't do any. I did one, which was the goal setting video, which is the goal setting, sorry, blog post, which was linked to the video. I did no more. And I think realistically that that has passed. I don't think I really have the time while I work full time and have the children as active as they are and so busy to sit down and write good quality blog content. It's just never gonna happen. So I have two more years of my blog being live and the channel and my website being live so I will leave it there and if I get time in the coming years to write more I will um, and I'll, when it comes to the time when I have to renew and pay for the site again I will make a decision on then whether to keep it or not it may be time to say goodbye to it but I would love to keep it if I could so we'll see see how that goes the other thing I wanted to do was organize my time better and organize my day better and I was planning sort of half hourly um, I didn't continue to do that because it just didn't fit really with my life. I changed my job halfway through the year, well not changed my job, but I got a promotion halfway through the year which meant my workload increased quite considerably and really my time was spent working from the moment I got home from the school run really till the moment I went to pick them up and then I did more work once they were home or once I took Phoebe dance dancing. So it really is um, much busier than it was before. However, I need for 2020 to make sure I am making time for myself because I did find certainly in the run up to Christmas when work was so busy that I wasn't even getting time to take the dog for a walk or um, you know do anything really. And I need to make that time when I'm sat in front of a screen for six hours non-stop it's not good for me and it's certainly not good for the dog he sat down here by the way because he doesn't get to go out so I'm going to change that in 2020 and just make sure that I make time to go and take him out for a walk get some fresh air for myself and some time away from the screen because it's just it's not healthy um, and you know it's not good for 
for anyone really. So that's really important and I'm going to do that better. Um, organised mum method was something that I wanted to do and I did do that for about the first three months of the year. It then sort of fizzled out and I didn't really get back into it. So I'm going to try that again starting on Monday when the children go back to school so I can come back home. I did love it when, you know, the, there was, you know, the, the house was permanently hoovered and clean and tidy. The beds were always made and it was nice to have that and not feel like I had loads and loads of housework to do. So I need to, again, make sure that I'm making time to do that. I think what I was finding was the half hour that I was spending doing that each day, I suddenly spent taking longer over my breakfast and my cup of tea, which is nice, but I don't need to do that. I could do that anytime. So important that I get the housework done, certainly during the week, Monday to Friday. And I did have a kids timetable. I think I talked about that in the, in the um, video last year to try and get them to be more self-sufficient when it came to doing their homework, doing music practice and things like that. And it really did not work. <laughs> I think the problem is, is that I thought they would just look at the little timetable I'd done for them and just get on with it, but they didn't. They needed me to manage them to do that. And the whole point of me putting it there was so that I didn't have to do that. And it, it just got to the point where it was easier just to ask them to do it and not worry about the timetable. So I'm scrapping that for this year. Hello. Um, and I am going to just ask them to help more around the house. It became apparent to me at Christmas time uh, that my children do very little for themselves. I do a lot when it comes to tidying bedrooms, putting clothes away, making beds, doing the dishes, all of that stuff. They don't help and they need to. Archie is going to be leaving home in a couple of years time to go to university hopefully and he needs to learn to do more things for himself. Even, even things like you know putting a wash on, he needs to learn to do that. So that's my plan for this year is to get the kids more self-sufficient and to be more helpful at home. And I think that's it. I think that was all my goals. So it's not a huge amount of goals. Oh no, there was one other thing. That was it. I want to get out more as a family, do more things and be more adventurous and get out more on my own as well. But just do more things. I felt that 2019 was a bit meh. <laughs> we didn't do a lot. It, there wasn't a lot to talk about, a lot to say, oh, we've achieved this, we've done this, you know, as a family. Uh, we didn't go on a big holiday and that's fine. You know, nobody has to go on a big holiday. But I think, I think sometimes I feel... Uh, that means we've not done anything and you know so I think I want 2020 to be a bit more of a year of, of adventure for us that we have a few things already booked in we've got a holiday planned this year um we've got some nights out planned and I think I would like to get out more on the weekends you know if we've got a free day rather than just spend it doing housework and cooking a roast let's get out on the bikes let's go out for a nice cycle ride. we've got a brilliant network of cycle paths where we live and we just don't make the most of it so I think when the weather's good I think we need to make the most of just getting out and doing more together in the open air and the fresh air we always feel so much better for it even today Phoebe and Archie and Andrew went to the skate park and I walked the dog and just getting out in that fresh air made me feel so much better I just needed it. I needed to get out of the house and do something different. And then I feel better about just being in, in the evenings, because we don't do a lot most evenings. And I start to get a bit of cabin fever when I'm here all day, every day, and every, excuse me, and every evening. So I think just getting out at the weekends in the fresh air is gonna be a huge benefit to all of us. So that is it. Those are my goals for the year, to carry on working out to carry on making YouTube videos once a week, if not twice occasionally, um, to organize my time, do the, get on with the organized mum method, do things like that um, and so that I have more time at the weekends to spend as a family and get out on our bikes and, you know, in the fresh air and do more dog walks and also to get the kids to be more self-sufficient, do things for themselves, I'll stop doing everything for them. Um, so yeah, that was it. Those are my goals. I'd love to know if you've got any goals for 2020, if you've set yourself any challenges for this year. If you have, leave them in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>